Well, one of the last questions I always like to ask with these interviews is, how do you think that period of time, you know, when you look back, particularly on your World War II and then your Korean War experience, uh, how did it affect your life, change your life, play a role in your life? Or do you look back on it and say it, it was just simply chapters in my life? How, do you, how would you answer that? Well, it made a man out of me, really. It made me more stable and uh, more dependable. It just, you really, you really grew up to be a man, for mm. sure. Yeah. yeah, that was a life changer for me in my life, and for the better, time yeah. for the better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like I said, I'm ex thankful for the experience, but I wouldn't want to go through it again. Yeah, yeah, oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'm just glad I came out of it in one piece. Mm. Well, I noticed, uh, uh, in your medals that you've got a you got a purple heart so you, yeah. you got injured at, at one point what happened yeah. you need to tell uh, that story that was a bombing ray I think I got injured there we were bombed in uh, oh, what was it, Italy or Sicily Italy I think it was southern France I can't I think it was southern France through a bombing ray I was hit it was shrapnel then that and spent a couple of days in the hospital digging it all out and and luckily, it wasn't serious enough to handicap me in any way, so they were able to get all that out of me. And you've never had any effects of it? No. It's, it's never bothered you? Well, I did, did one time. I had something kind of sick, you know, and I went back in the doctor. And he pulled out a little piece of shrapnel oh, that, that they had missed years ago. It was catching all my clothes. Oh. It was kind of strange. It just, no, oh, it's not that big. Out of my, I think it was out of my chest here somewhere. A piece of shrapnel. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of funny. I'll be darned. Mm. Doc pulled that out and looked at that. And I thought the war was over with, he said. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Sam, this is your uh, medals uh, uh, case. Talk a little bit about that, particularly. Can you tell the story as you remember it when you were awarded the Silver Star? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> I guess you're going to have to read it. According to the, to the book, you went to, to the aid of an officer uh, who uh, was mortally wounded. Yeah. Uh, see, where was that? You were under con it says, under intense and constant shelling. It must have been on Angio. I, can't, I, I think. I'm not sure. Hmm. Been a long time. Yeah, and of course your your uh, your uh, purple heart for being yeah. for being wounded. Well, Sam, I want to thank you for sitting down to tell your story today. But uh, more importantly, I want to thank you for your service to our country. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad I done it. But I, as I say, I wouldn't want to go through it again. Yeah, yeah. But don't blame you. No. <laughs> yeah. Some of it was good. Too much of it was bad. Though. Yeah. A lot of it, you know, is not only what I went through, but to see the people suffer, you know, that, that had to go through these families with, with the little children and that. And, well, we used to feed so many of them when we could and help them, but it was just, that hurt me more than, than anything else, to see those poor people. Hmm. Family with little children, you know, and, and there's nothing you could do about it. Yeah, yeah. Because we weren't allowed to give them food and that, but we, we'd give it to them anyway. <laughs> you help them where we could. Yeah, that to me was the worst part of it all was seeing the little children suffer over there mm. and the, the older fan, old people. Yeah. Mm. Like I say, it was, a, it was an experience worth going through, but I never want to go through it again. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't take a million dollars for it. Though. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just thankful I made it through. I'm here in one piece.